Good morning, everyone. Let's make this beautiful Mother's Day inspired breakfast platter. Welcome back to another amazing video. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I appreciate every single one. And for those who have been here with me, I appreciate you for all your love and all your support. So yeah, let's get cooking. So the first thing I'm going to make are my breakfast muffins. I am going to grate my cheddar cheese, set that aside, and then we're going to whisk up our eggs. I am going to add just a pinch of salt and a pinch of pepper and some milk, and then we're just going to whisk that up. The next thing I'm going to do is grease my muffin pans with some melted butter. I am going to grease it generously so that there's no sticking when I'm ready to take out my muffins. Alright, so I'm going to add my bacon, then I'm going to add my cheese, and then we're going to pour our egg on the top. And if you don't eat bacon, go ahead and add some veggies if you want to add some veggies instead of the bacon. And if you don't want to use cheddar cheese, use whatever cheese you please. So to reduce the mess, I'm using a measuring cup to pour the eggs in the muffin pan. Next, to give it a little decoration on the top and add some flavor, I am adding some blended scallions or green onions, whichever one you call it. I'm just sprinkling some on the top. You can add red bell peppers, tomatoes, whatever you wish, but I'm going to be using some green onions. All right, so pop them in the oven for 15 minutes and they're out and ready. You can see how smooth and nice and fluffy these egg muffins are. That is why it's very important that you grease the muffin pan properly. Now moving on to the pancake, I have one and a half cup of flour. I'm just going to sift that. I'm using all purpose flour, one and a half teaspoon of baking powder and a half teaspoon of salt. I'm just going to whisk that up to combine everything and then I'm going to set it aside and move on to our liquid ingredients. For the liquid ingredients, I'm going to crack one egg. I'm also going to add two tablespoons of sugar to the egg. I'm going to whisk that up to combine and then I'm going to add quarter stick of melted butter and I'm going to add one cup of whole milk. You can also use buttermilk if you have. I usually use buttermilk but I'm out but the whole milk works just the same. And then I'm adding one teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm just going to combine all of that and then we're going to add it to our dry ingredients. I'm going to whisk it up properly to ensure that it's nice and smooth and there is no lumps. So I have my non-stick pan here. I have it heated. I just brush on a little butter on the bottom, not too much. And then I add my pancake mix. It's all depending on the size, that the size pancake that you want. I'm use, I think I was using a one third or a half cup. Um, but it doesn't matter, you will know the size pancake that you are looking for. As soon as you see bubbles start to rise on the top, it's time to flip it, flip it over and let the other side bake. You can also use this very batter that I'm using for my pancake to make some waffles. If you have a waffle maker and you want to add some waffles on your platter as well, you can go ahead and do that. Or you can make some French toast. So here you go. My pancakes are ready. I'm just going to set them aside. And I'm going to make some strawberry to go on the top. So to make my strawberry glaze, I'm going to make a simple syrup by adding some butter. Allow it to melt. Add some sugar and a little water. Allow it to come to a boil. And then I'm going to add my strawberries. If you're making like a strawberry sauce, you can cook this for up to 20 minutes. But if you just want some glazed strawberries, 5 to 10 minutes is good. And the time that you cook it for all depending on how soft you want it or if you want them whole. Alright, so now I am just making my platter. I added some fruits, some pineapples, some grapes, some whole strawberries. And you see I have some bacon, my egg muffins and my pancakes. So as you can see, I set the strawberry aside. You can serve it on the side just in case the person is not ready to eat right away. You don't want to get your pancakes all soft and soggy. And you can also go ahead and dust some powdered sugar on the top just to make it look more fancy. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was beneficial to you. And don't forget to come back for more and hit that subscribe button, hit that like button and hit the share button. Alright, bye guys.